As I sit here tonight, the jukebox playing. The tune about the wild side of life. Well, Kitty Wells is a country singer, uh, first famous in the 1950s. They call her the queen of country music. The reason they call her that is that she was really the first commercially successful uh, country female artist of her time. And she came before Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn, Dolly Parton, Tammy Wynette, all the kind of female icons of country music um, really uh, wouldn't have had the experiences they, they did if Kitty hadn't established um, that women could sell music in the country music field. And as I listen to the words that you are saying, it brings memories of when I was a trusting wife. It wasn't God who made honky tonk angels. Like you said in the words of your song. It wasn't God who made Honky Tonk Angels is actually the answer song, and this was a phenomenon back in the 40s and 50s, where um, if you had a popular tune of the day, somebody might try to, to capitalize on the popularity of that hit song by writing an answer to it, and often the answers were female artists, um, you know, coming along with the sort of telling the girl side of the story. In, in expressing the woman's point of view that um, you know, in this case, marital infidelity wasn't all the fault of women luring men away from their marriages um, in the honky-tonks as the wild side of life describes, uh, that she really tapped into this sort of zeitgeist of the moment where women were, you know, sort of more willing to stand up and say, hey, don't blame all, <laughs> all these, um, you know, marriage ills on, on the women, let's uh, let the women have their say uh, and let them do it in song just as men have done. Too many times married men think they're still single. That has caused many a good girl to go 